What's up guys, Triple Jazz here. I've got a quick update for you because I did a video at the beginning of the year covering Clip Studio Paint 3.0's changes that they had released to the public and I reviewed the software based on the information they revealed to us. But they left out a couple of key things that I think might change the game a little bit, at least for me. Let's go over them. I'm gonna give you three surprises that I found in the software and it might sway your opinion. Let's go over them real quick. Okay, so I have here this painting that I'm working on and I realized that they added a chromatic aberration filter. Who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want that? I actually created an automatic action that will create chromatic aberration setup for you, but we don't even need that anymore because it's just a filter in 3.0. Although I will make my action set available some point in the near future for those of you who still use 2.0 or 1.0, but let's check it out. So if we go up to filter effect, we now see there's a chromatic aberration and we can drag the center point around to determine where it's going to aberrate from, right? So if I really increase this intensity, you can see that all the lines are pointing from this center point. Or we can use an angle. So we can just change the angle of this and it'll determine where that chromatic aberration is coming from. Very cool, great for using on those classic anime filters or just if you want extra pop in your concept art or in your finished painting. And also they included to kind of go with that, a retro filter. So again, effect, retro film. So now we have this retro film, which does chromatic aberration and also adds a noise to it. We can mess around with it. I think we can play with it. So this is like a two for one. You get the, the noise filter and the chromatic aberration filter in one. And this will just really save you time on adding that final touch to your anime painting or whatever it is you're working on that you want that kind of like classic aesthetic which also then means that this video that i made years ago is kind of no longer relevant although again if you're not using 3.0 it'd still be a great video for you to check out so you can create the effect on your own so most of you know me from my sonic art and the fact that i was working on a sonic video game called sonic freedom well something really cool they just added that would be great for any 2d art going into 3d or an engine they actually added secretly just a normal map filter. So if you go up to effect, normal map, it'll create essentially information for a 3D engine to light a 2D object properly. So we have a Y up and Y down option depending on the 3D engine that you're using and how it's gonna interpolate Y up or Y down. Really cool, really handy. You could turn your 2D sprites into kind of 3D objects using this and then import it in a lighting engine and it'll give it this sort of, you know, pseudo 3D effect. It's also great if you're making your own 3D models at home with Blender, doing hand-painted textures and creating a, a quick normal map out of whatever texture you generate. Also super helpful for that. And the last thing Clipsio Paint added right at the end, I got an email about this and I was really confused because they hadn't announced this at all, but they had this email about, oh, there's a policy change that happened. I was like, whoa, what policy change? And I looked it up and it had to do with a font. And I was like, they haven't announced a font. Well, now there's an official Clip Studio Paint comic font. Super great. That means if you own the software, you don't have to pay any royalties to the, the font creator. You don't have to, like all the copyrights are good. You're good now to just use this font for your comic, your webtoon, whatever it is you wanna make, and it's built right in. So you see here, I changed this comic page of my comic, Magic Punk, pick it up on Gumroad for free. I changed the font here to be the new Clipsio Paint format. I haven't exported this yet. I'm gonna see how it looks with my comic, but I really like this. This is an easy read and it looks bold and it's clear. So this looks great printed and great on the internet as well, just because of the way that the font is designed. So that's those are three things that I was really surprised by. Right now, Clipsio Paint is doing a 3.0 launch sale. So for the next week or so, it's gonna be 60% off, up to 60% off. And you can get that using my affiliate link in the description. I know triple shill, hey guys, you know me, okay? I'm just trying to make a buck over here. But also I think this these changes put in perspective a little bit, like these kind of secret little bits and bobs that they hide in there, I really do think that it means they're they're listening to people and they're trying to make a better product. And for that reason, for me, my perspective, I'm gonna to continue to support them. If you're still on the fence about it, feel free to check out my video over here regarding Clip Studio Paint 3.0's changes. Again, I said that you probably shouldn't buy it based on what they had announced to us back in, I think it was like November or December. That might still be the case for you. I think a lot of those 3D changes are still unnecessary for me, but filters like this, like chromatic aberration, normal maps, anything that speeds up what I like to do, 
Obviously me as a consumer and a professional, that's what I want in the product because I'm paying for it and I want the product to make my life easier. You know, I'm, I'm using it as a tool. I don't want to do the art for me. I want it to make it easier for all these little bits and bobs at the end. So with that guys, have a good rest of your day. Thanks for all the new subscribers, welcome. And as always, make good art.